Hi, I'm Chuck, and today we're going to perform a full pressure calibration on this AC440 from Maco. To begin, let's go into the menu and select maintenance. Then we'll scroll all the way over till we see full pressure calibration. Select start. This first menu is going to say this procedure requires reference pressure gauge. Typically in the field, we would have a separate HP reference gauge that we would connect, but in this case, we're going to use the LP gauge, which is going to be accurate enough for field use here. So we're going to say OK. Now it'll say to disconnect the LP and HP hoses from any system and hit OK. And we're going to go through emptying the hoses process. Now that the hose drain is complete, we're going to want to take the LP adapter from the basket, this is included in your kit, and have that handy. Now we want to take the LP coupler off of the parking position back here, and we want to take our bottle fitting adapter and connect them together. It will now say open the LP coupler so that ambient air can enter into the hose. This will get our ambient pressure zero point. When you do this, you'll hear a little puff of air come out. Go to the next step by hitting the check mark. It'll say, please wait. Now it'll tell me to unscrew the LP and disconnect the bottle fitting. This is an important step. We'll hit the check. Now it'll ask us to connect a reference pressure gauge. Since we're using the LP gauge, as mentioned earlier, we'll use this for the reading for the next step. Now it's gonna ask us to enter this value in from the LP gauge here. So I'm gonna read the PSI reading here. It's approximately 77 PSI, and that's what I'll enter into this gauge, into this reading screen here. So 77 PSI, and then I'll hit the check mark. Once this machine is finished emptying the hoses, It'll go through a short vacuum process, and that should be the end of the procedure. That concludes demonstration of this pressure calibration function for this AC440 for Matco. For more information, visit us online.